What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out five failed real life romances of John Cena. The you can't see me, man. Sometimes uh, the relationships don't last. Maybe because they couldn't see him no more. Maybe they had the power to see John Cena and then they lost the power and they couldn't see him no more. So he had to move on to the next relationship. Hey, it's a part of life. Even John Cena has breakups, you know? So it's a part of life. Sometimes you'll meet someone and it works out for a little bit and they're only meant to be in your life for a season, not for the rest of your life. That's just part of the game. And even you can't see me, man, has dealt with this. So we're gonna check out some of these situations Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Let's get right into this, man. John Cena is widely regarded as WWE's franchise guy. For over a decade, WWE cemented Cena as their number one guy, and Cena, whilst being a polarizing figure, is now widely celebrated as one of the greatest WWE superstars of all time. But outside of Cena's legendary... I already know. The Super Cena fan that be in the comment sections, oh my god, he's... He's about to go crazy. He'll literally comment on a video that has nothing to do with John Cena talking about how great Cena is. And I don't know if it's a real person or if it's a troll. I'm not sure. But I know for a fact he's going to comment on this video. It's not even going to be about John Cena's relationships. It's going to be about how John Cena still should have beat Austin Theory at WrestleMania. And we don't know what we're talking about. So if you see the Super Cena, the Super John Cena fan in the comment section down below, man, let me know. Because he pops up almost every other video to let us all know how much John Cena is the greatest and no one's better than him. You better comment on this video. It's about John Cena, my guy. <laughs> WWE career, he's had a number of romantic escapades, oh. including dating a number of former WWE superstars. <laughs> Join us now as we look at every failed real my life boy, romance John Cena of John with Cena. The, you can't see me, Riz. <laughs> That's the ultimate Riz right there, because you can't be seen. <laughs> be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily guy. wrestling videos Don't and follow no us mind. on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 4, Victoria. Hmm. 2002 was the year John Cena finally debuted on the WWE Ruthless main roster. Aggression. Cena would make his debut in an iconic segment on SmackDown which saw him confront Kurt Angle. But just a few short months before Cena made his SmackDown debut, he began to date fellow WWE star, that being future women's champion, mm. Victoria. Victoria would discuss a relationship with Cena during an interview with Figure 4 Wrestling Online, and this is what she had to say. I've been with my husband for 20 years. He's the best guy in the world. Mm -hmm. Like any 20-year relationship, we had some good times and we've had some bad times. And anyone who I traveled with knows that because you learn intimate details about each other whether you want to or not. We have separated a few times. One of those times that we were separated, I dated John Cena for about a month. Oh. It was not in 2006 or 2007, it was in 2002. It was when we were both in Louisville. I was married but separated. Oh. John Cena was single. I was never his road girlfriend. I know that when we were separated, my husband also dated a couple of girls. That's what happens when you're separated. Okay. It looks like their relationship ended sometime in 2002, but Victoria is often forgotten about when it comes to Cena's past relationships. Hey man, it happens, you know? It happens, it's, it's a part of life. And I'm glad she, and, I mean, it was only for like one month, it was like four weeks if that. So I'm glad, you know, nothing really transpired from it. She didn't really say nothing. It probably just, just didn't work out and they, you know, went their separate ways. Number three, Mickey James. This I did not know. In 2007, know. John Cena began to date fellow WWE star Mickey James. What? WWE would eventually turn this into a storyline in 2008, which was unfortunately dropped rather abruptly. I James think, would discuss the relationship with Cena during an appearance on Chasing Glory with Lillian Garcia. We're all adults, and you know, obviously, this business is what it is. And we've all had our share of relationships failed. I think that being adults and being professionals is such a tight knit thing. That's the reason why so many people in the industry fall in love in the first place because you see each other every day. You hang out with each other. You don't get a chance to make any type of outside life. Mm -hmm. We're all grown adults, and I would hope that, and I'm pretty sure that it's going to be pretty awesome. Hmm. The relationship between Cena and James received a ton of criticism when it became public knowledge. This was because James was engaged to fellow WWE oh. star Kenny Dykstra at the time. 
Dykstra was someone who WWE could have been a major star for them, but when Cena and James's relationship leaked out, oh. Dykstra was moved brands and was eventually released. Damn. Dykstra had severe resentment towards John Cena for the longest time, and some could argue that this was completely justified. Yeah. Some say that this led him to being banned from WWE, but thankfully, in recent years, he's managed to return to WWE in a producer role. Oh. Number two, Elizabeth Hebrick. Damn, that's crazy. My boy John had some of that Mickey James pie. Wow. While she was engaged to another guy on the roster. That's sheesh, Mickey. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Once John Cena's relationship with Mickey James had ended, Cena rekindled his relationship with his high school sweetheart, Elizabeth mm. Hebridew. Cena and Hebridge would marry in 2009, and Cena did everything in his power to keep his relationship extremely private. Unfortunately, in 2012, Cena yeah, filed for divorce, I think I subsequently did. ending their relationship. The two had a prenup. I think uh, I do remember hearing about that. It's crazy he went back to his high school sweetheart. That's wild. <laughs> Mutual agreement from 2009, which allowed Cena to take back all expensive gifts he had gifted his wife, and Heberdew decided to legally challenge this clause of their agreement. It's believed that Heberdew received a settlement of around $60 million. Oh! Cena would discuss his first marriage on the hit 105 Stay Abby and Matt radio show, and this is what Cena had to say. I've made WWE my absolute life. I don't have a family. I tried marriage once and I realized my WWE marriage was the one thing that was going to survive. Damn, Before bro. Before we get into number one, let's look at Damn, some- Damn, bro. That's, that's, I ain't gonna lie to you. And I hope John can find that family that he wants. You know what I'm saying? Cause I mean, the dude is, you know, he's now, he's becoming a mega movie star and everything. Um, I just hope he's able to find that family, bro. I, I truly hope he can because, uh, uh, you know, you don't want to go through life having all these great accolades, but you don't have a family to show for it. Unless that's unless that's not what he wants. So I, maybe WWE is truly the family. Well, it, it wants it probably it still is. But now it's movies and all this other stuff. So I don't know. Very interesting. Some rumored romances. Our fans search John Cena romances on any search engine. There are a ton of names that surface. However, almost all of these names are just rumors, and they have no genuine evidence <laughs> attached to them. Names that Cena has rumored to date include AJ Lee. And oh, my boy John got to kiss a lot of people. <laughs> you can't see me, man. Was getting seen by all the ladies in WWE. 2012 and Kelly Kelly in the same year. Damn. Fans clearly assumed that Cena and AJ's romance on WWE television was legitimate. There's no evidence whatsoever to suggest that this yeah. romance carried off screen. In relation to Kelly Kelly, these rumors appeared to have surfaced after the two were together doing WWE media duties, but there is nothing substantial to the rumors relating to a romance. Mm -hmm. Another rumor, or maybe urban legend, is urban. that Cena had a romance with notable adult film star Kendra Wait. Lust. <laughs> is that supposed to be John Cena, bro? <laughs> <laughs> That's supposed to be John Cena, bro. <laughs> hey, I want y'all to comment down below what would be John Cena's adult film name. You can't say certain stuff on here. What would be his adult film name? What is this guy adult film name? What would John Cena's adult film name would be? What this? Best one I'm pinning. Best person who has the best adult film name for this this version of John Cena. Please comment down below. The best one I see I'm pinning, bro. Oh my Rumors god. seem to have come from Lust posting with a WWE title. Lust is even outright denied these rumors. And number one, Nikki Bella. Uh, yeah, of course. And John Cena's most infamous relationship was a relationship that played out in front of our very eyes. Yeah. And that was with former Divas champion Nikki Bella. The yeah. two began to date in 2012 whilst both were in WWE, and the relationship between the two was heavily featured on Total Bellas. Yeah. When Bella moved in with Cena in 2013, Cena insisted that Bella signed a 75-page agreement, which included terms such as Bella having to vacate his home as soon as possible. <laughs> My boy John was not playing. This nigga had a 75 agreement, 75-page agreement. Listen here, motherfucker. Before we go anywhere, 
You got to sign and read these documents. If you don't, this ain't going to work. If they ever broke up. Humorously, also in the contract, Cena would refer to Bella as a guest rather than his girlfriend or partner. Bella would read out this term of the agreement on Total Bellas and it read, Although I do not wish to be formal, I don't want there to be any misunderstanding regarding your presence at the home as my guest. Oh. In the event that I ask you to vacate the home, you agree to immediately vacate the home and remove any and all items you have brought into the home as soon as possible. Bro. This led to Bella stating, Bro, I ain't... You can't see me, man. <laughs> it's on a different level. Oh, bro, what? <laughs> is that all I'm ever going to be in your heart as a guest? Am I ever going to have that permanent spot in the rest of your life? But I eventually revealed on Better Together that she decided to end the relationship with Cena due to him not wishing to have children. Oh. Overall, we did have such an incredible relationship. Damn. It was just two people that wanted two different lives, but we were trying so hard to make it one. Even in the end, when he was willing to give me kids, I could just tell it's not what he wanted. And that's really like, you know, what pushed me in the end. I was like, oh. I'm going to force someone to be a father. Even though Cena and Bella are no longer together, this doesn't mean that the two aren't friends. When Bella gave birth to her first child, she revealed that Cena personally reached out to congratulate her. Oh, okay. Speaking to US Weekly, she stated, Jen and I will be tied forever. I get that like we had a public relationship on a reality show for six years. All I ever wanted was for him to be happy. So it makes me happy when I see that and like him kicking butt in the movie world and all that stuff. I love that. So with the baby, he reached out to Brie and I both. We haven't had an individual conversation in, gosh, I don't know how long but it was very short and sweet. Overall, we did have such an incredible relationship. It was just two people that wanted two different lives. We were trying so hard to make it one. Damn. Kudos Despite to her. a number of failed romances, Cena is now fun. Kudos to her for, you know what I'm saying, you know, keeping it, keeping it, you know, real, real professional. She didn't dog him or anything like that. That's, that's crazy, bro. And for him to be like, hey man, congrats on you having a child. That's ultimately what she wanted and, you know, sometimes that happens in life. You two people get together. It may sound good on paper, but one person may want something else and the other person may want something else and it just doesn't clash. Only seem to have found the one. In October 2020, Cena married his girlfriend at the time, Shay Shariadza, oh, but they've been dating since early 2019. Damn. They met on the set of the 2019 movie Playing With Fire and have seemingly been inseparable ever okay. since. But they have it first. Right, John? Failed romance. I my boy John, man. John motherfucking Cena, bro. <laughs> you can't see me, man. Back with another one married again. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is crazy, bro. John got the riz. He got to kiss up on all the ladies that y'all want. <laughs> y'all probably wanted to kiss up on in WWE growing up. Got the got the, the high school sweetheart for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, he was with one of the Bella twins. Now he got him somebody else. Hey, man. And he, you know, had motherfuckers signing 75 page documents saying, when I need you to get the fuck out my crib, get the fuck out. <laughs> That's crazy. The ultimate Riz and you can't see me, man. Comment down below. Like I said, on that part where we saw the adult film scene of a guy pretending to be John Cena. What would be John Cena's adult film name? Whoever that guy is, what what's his name? Just put out the, the best one. I'm definitely pinning. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still young to be the YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See y'all next one. Peace.